In this video, we're going to be looking at a couple of different products from Witchwood's tactical range. Now, we've looked at products from the range before, but this time we're going to be looking at a couple of different bivvies, from the massive one I've got behind me to a little compact one that Joe's got. Let's have a look at them. Now me and Joe are actually filming a session at the moment so we thought it was a perfect time to actually take these bivvies out and give them a proper test. We both fished last night so we both done the night in them and basically I have got the tactical bivvy from Witchwood and you might think it looks quite a big bivvy that's because I've got the tactical bivvy extension on the front as well. Now I'll talk you through the bivvy itself in a little bit but because it's all on and all in place I'm going to talk you through the extension first. So it's easy to put on it simply clips onto the ribs on the current bivvy and then you just pull it forward peg it all in place there's a few uh, extensions on the inside to keep it nice and taut like it is so yeah it's a really sturdy extension to the bivvy and i'd say it probably gives you about an extra meter of space inside from where the, the actual bivvy itself ends to where the extension ends it's, it's a good meter so you can fit loads of stuff in there and it's actually been really nice having that extra bit of room because i'm usually so cramped up in a bivvy and then we've got all the camera kit and everything like that it's normally quite quite hard to find a bit of space to actually move so to be able to have it have it all set out like that is a really helpful little addition now i believe these come in at about 150 quid and for that you basically get obviously the extension itself you get a heavy duty ground sheet heavy duty carry bag you get all the extra pegs and you also get a full zip in waterproof door so it's actually quite a good value for money considering the extra space it gives you as well if you are looking for a bit of extra room for, for a bivvy if you're doing longer sessions if you're going abroad well at some point when we're allowed then it's really nice for for 150 quid to be able to have that extra room so that is the extension wrapped up i'm not going to go into details about the material and that sort of thing because it's all the same as the bivvy itself now if you like this sort of content make sure you subscribe to carpology on youtube and you like our various social media platforms such as facebook instagram and twitter so moving on to the tactical bivvy itself as you can see there's still plenty of room even if you don't have the extension now it's a bivvy that pretty much covers all bases if you're wanting something for quick overnighters it's ideal it's nice and quick to put up or if you want then something for a slightly longer session again you've still got the space in here where you can bring everything that you need to and not have to worry about being cramped so it really is ideal for a, a perfect all-round bivvy system now the front there's loads of different options as you can see at the moment i've got it completely completely unzipped so you can completely take the front off and then you've just got these two little sides which obviously help to keep the rain out if it does rain and you still want the open front look however you do have a full zip in front which is completely waterproof and basically you've got a, a separate door section to the front as well so if you still want it nice and open then you can still have further sides on here but the door open or if it is torrential rain really bad weather then you can completely zip the door down and you know you're going to be nice and dry now another thing to help with the rain is obviously this front peak so uh, this comes out probably about 20 to 25 centimeters so it really does help if the rain is kind of driving down or even coming in at a slight angle because you're set back because of the flat back design of it your bed chair's right at the back so any rain is going to be blocked by the porch and you're not going to get wet feet sitting sitting out or anything like that so really handy another thing that's obviously going to help with the rain is the material used so it's made from a 10,000 millimeter hydrostatic head so really hard wearing that means that basically no rain is going to get in you're going to keep nice and dry now something you might notice behind me there's a couple of uh, mozzie mesh vents as well so if you want the airflow where i am today it's quite overcast but it is very sticky and very muggy so by having the vents open really does help with that airflow coming through and makes things again a lot more bearable something else worth mentioning about the vents as well is they actually zip down into place so you haven't got to worry about trying to line up velcro or anything like that but another benefit of the zips is that it helps to make it a lot more waterproof so overall like i say it's a bivvy that caters for pretty much any occasion and just like the 
extension. It comes with a heavy duty ground sheet, heavy duty bag, and also uh, heavy duty pegs as well. So again, you get a complete package with this, and I believe these retail for about 250 quid. So really good value for money, considering what you get for that price. Now, like I say, this is the tactical bivvy. We've looked at the tactical bivvy extension. Now, if we move down into Joe Swim, then we have a look at the tactical compact bivvy, which shares a lot of similar features to what this does, but obviously on a slightly smaller scale. Now, it's, we, haven't, we haven't listed all the exact measurements or anything like that. We've done it the carpology way to show size. So I'm gonna overlay a couple of clips now, which will show Joe, who's six foot one, laying down next to different bivvies. So hopefully that'll give you some sort of guide. So for some reason, the taller one of the two of us, and slightly wider unfortunately, ended up with the compact bivvy, but that isn't an issue. I was a little bit dubious to start with thinking I've got the compact because I've always stayed away from compact bivvies since I used to use one, always did my back in and didn't quite enjoy it. Being six foot one, I need a bit more space, but as you can see, I'm sitting in here perfectly, just about starting to touch the uh, top of the bivvy, sat back on the bed chair, but I'm sure if I sat forward like this, I can see it nicely. Now I've got this in a configuration that suits me and this session. Yesterday was easily into the low 20s, maybe even mid 20s. So I wanted a nice big window, a lot of airflow. So I took the front door completely off. Now there is a front infill panel, a solid panel, which also has a door in the middle. So I'd have the door basically here. But like I said, I just like to have a big window, see my whole swim. And if the weather's not too bad, this is perfectly ample. It did actually rain last night, so um, out of the blue I didn't expect any rain, but nothing got wet, even in the positions things are now. It wasn't windy of course, which does help, but nothing got wet. It rained quite heavily for a, a, a while. No issues, even, do, even though I had the door off. Of course, if it started getting windy, you'd put the front infill on. But talking about the airflow as well, the rear vent, slightly different to the bivvy that Luke's got, in the, in the sense that this is one huge panel that zips down and tucks into a little mesh pocket. So yesterday I had that down when it was really sunny and it's lovely to get a bit of airflow coming in and out. Now I'm not gonna to touch upon all the different materials and zips and things because they share as much the same as everything that Luke's already gone through. So where this bivvy comes in is maybe the shorter session, day sessions, even though we were planning on doing a 48 hour session here, although it's been cut short because of fish are spawning, but that's irrelevant. I'd still be absolutely fine doing a couple of days in this if the weather was like it is. So if you're doing shorter sessions or longer sessions, it will still be up to the job. You can also get a few added extras. So as I said, the infill panel I don't quite have on at the moment, uh, but you can get a mozzie infill panel for one of those. You still want airflow, but the mozzies are starting to be a bit of a pain. And you've also got an over wrap. So if you want to just dual layer the, the bivvy up for those hot extremes and cooler extremes, just keep your session much more comfortable, you can do so. So despite the fact it's a smaller footprint and a smaller overall bivvy, there's a lot that can uh, still be adjusted to your needs. So there's something in the range for everyone. So that is the compact in a nutshell. As for the prices, because this is the compact to being slightly smaller, you would expect the price to be slightly smaller as well. And it is. The bivvy itself comes in at 219.99. And then the overwrap, if you wanted to go for that, comes in at 89.99. Then the muzzy infill panel comes in at 39.99. Okay, so that is the tactical range of bivvies from Witchwood and a few of the accessories that you can get with them. If you like them, obviously make sure you let us know in the comments below. And if you like this sort of video, make sure you subscribe to Carpology on YouTube and like our various social media platforms such as Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. But for now, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.